Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install these active infrared beams. Now, the beams require a sender and a receiver. Now the challenge is to get them level. And this is particularly difficult when the distance is large. Now in the case that I'm doing now, the distance exceeds 30 meters. So the, it does come with this little magnifying glass here, a little, a little binocular, which in these far distances is actually a bit useless. So this, uh, you, what you're supposed to do here is you look through there, you align it, and you're supposed to see this guy in the little x there but the problem is in the x there it becomes literally three meters at the distance that we're installing it so i'm going to show you a little, a little bit of a different method and that requires a laser pointer a spirit level and a second person all right so let me just show you the site now you can see as i pan how far this beam is going to be installed now the beam is going to be installed over there so that is over over there now that is 38 meters away so how are we going to do that and I'm that's how what I'm going to demonstrate now so what you'll need is you'll need a second person to stand at the place where you want the one beam so I'm going to just show you the wall now now what I've done is I've marked off with some insulation tape some reference points for the beam now we've already played around and just uh, got a reference point there but we the ideal height for the beam is on these green tapes so what we're going to do now is my partner is going to um, stand here and he's going to be looking out for a laser pointer which is going to be showing itself on this brick wall in the next few minutes i'm going to walk to the sending end of the infrared uh, beam I'm just halfway and I'm just showing you that the beam is going to be there on that uh, uh, pillar there and just to give you an idea how far this really is I've only walked halfway and it still looks very small in that um, uh, location over there okay the principle of this method is as follows you get a really long spirit level or a short one is also fine and I have a laser pointer laser will have to travel in a straight <laughs> plane now what I've done is I've aligned the spirit level at a horizontal plane and what I've done is I now press the laser pointer and my partner there picks it up on the wall and that's how we know to uh, where to align these beams so at the moment the beam would be sitting here now because I've already aligned it now I showed you those green uh, insulation tapes on the wall and you can see that uh, on this side this is too low I don't want to install a beam at this level because a we've got something called a hardy dog bird which is too big and even a dog would set this off so ideally i'd like it to be somewhere over here or maybe over there but i think this will be too high considering that uh, uh, the the reference point was already at half a meter so let i'm going to now demonstrate how to set it at this height because that gives me let's call it uh, 30 centimeters higher than where it was on that wall okay so what, what did you say yeah, I'm going to. Okay. Three bricks would be the perfect height. Where is it? Huh? Where is it? Can you see it? Yeah. Put your finger on it? Huh? It doesn't matter as long as you get the line. Now, in my case, the power is actually coming through the wall. So I'm just going to push this wire through the wall here. The reason why I can do that is on the other side of the wall I have a sensor so all I need is the positive and negative because remember the beams require a sender and receiver the sender just needs positive and negative I'm going to get the positive and negative from this sensor and then I'm going to just close this one up so this one is going to go to the beam I'm just getting the power there's the positive and then the black is the negative there we go just stripping them turning these wires to the back 
and these get threaded through the back. This is an optic, so it requires you to thread it like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, because it's too low on that side, I'm go I've measured 15 centimeters, and I'm just going to lift the beam 15 centimeters higher. So it's actually going to sit there. So the new reference point is going to be here, and I want it kind of in line with the where the uh, the the um, the power wire is going to come. The power wire is going to go up the wall like this. It's going to be like this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to measure 15 centimeters so that it's in the new height. So we're going from the reference point, which is there. So we're going up 15, which is there. So we're looking at about there in line with that. So this is the new reference point. And that's where the sensor is going to go. So it's going to be there. Got a nice place to drill or not? Let's see. No, that's fine. Hmm, I see this is an uneven brick. The challenges of face brick installations. Oh, that one is fine. So, there we go. Right, because of the height of the brick, I'm going to use a longer screw. This is the sending end. Now I'm going to thread the, the wire in now. There's the, the spot for the wire. There it goes. And because it's face brick, it's quite easy to thread the wire. So you can decide how you want to glue this. Uh, so it's obviously going to be something like that. If I take a straight line. I don't like a straight line because of the gap. So it's going to have to go there, 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 which is not ideal. Okay, I'll just cut the the uh, red first because I don't want it to short. Gonna wire up the red now, which is the power. Okay, 
Okay, and now the black. And we should get a power indicator once this black one is is on. Let's check. There we go. Okay, so the power is now on. Whoops. Uh, it's bending it a bit. See, there's a problem with face prick. Yeah, straight. Okay. Now I'll go and install the other side. You can see the LEDs on. Install the other side and we will then get the level. Right now, so on the other side, you just uh, drill the holes which I've done. But now what you might find is this problem. You can see this thing is all loose. So you have to tighten it. And the only way to tighten it is to unscrew that screw, take out the clip here, and actually move this thing out of the way. And now I'm going to tighten this very tight. There we go. Now to put this thing back, it goes like this. There's a, each side has a little hinge, little clip that goes in, so you just got to open this metal. There you go, they're both in, but now you can see it's loose. To stop it from being loose, you've got to put the clip back in. This looks like this. This is a clip. And how you put that clip back in, is you thread it there, you hook it. Take a screwdriver and you just you just got to lift it over this little point here. There we go. Almost done. Right. Now that's done. You can see it's got a spring now. Now all I have to do is put the, it's very tight now, all I have to do is put the screw back in which goes there which just stops it from falling completely back. All right, that's done. Okay, so now you just drill it into the wall and we align it. I'm gonna demonstrate how to do that now. Okay, once you've installed both units and you've got the level using the spirit level method that I showed, it's at this point where the magnifying glass is helpful. Now I'll show you what you, the procedure that you follow. Now, if you were very accurate in installing it and the wall is completely straight, which is not always the case, and then you make this completely straight and on the receiving side well then you won't have to spend a lot of time doing this but this is what most times you'll find you have to do right so you put the magnifying glass on now what the reason for the magnifying glass is you look in there and what you'll find there at least will be the zone for where the receiver is being uh, um, mounted so it's not going to be accurate it won't be able to pinpoint but it will give you almost like a cross hatch um, and you'll see an arrow here and an arrow here then at least you know you're in the same vicinity because mount um, adjusting this lens uh, or the, these uh, photo diodes not, it's not that easy because if you look over it you know, and you look in that direction it's actually not easy I mean five degrees is huge when you're talking at 40 odd meters so that's when you use this thing and what I do is I see in there oh okay I can see the I can't see the beam but I can see the whole pillar and I can also see the line. So now I've done that and it's actually uh, already been calibrated. So now I will now put the cover on and obviously you will need to tighten it and uh, just make sure there's no hoho ants. You put that, uh, uh, some glue at the top there. Right, let's go look at the receiver. Okay, so here is the beam. I've just got another one here, but this happens to be in a different direction. So this is it. You can see I've got the signal is good and the uh, level is good. Now, just to show you how you would calibrate it. Okay, off, after you've connected the power, I've just uh, doubled up onto this beam so long. I haven't connected the alarm signal yet, but I'm just showing you. You would need to adjust this until you see the alarm 
I mean the uh, level indicator. Now just to give you an example of the principle of operation, if I cover the beams, you can see how that LED comes on and that's telling me it's an alarm, you see? So that's an alarm. And just showing you in terms of a multimeter, say you have a continuity, see there's continuity telling me it's a closed circuit. Now if I go to the normally closed, which is the common connect uh, contact for alarms, you can see it's, it's, it's closed. Now what happens is if I break the beam, open means there's an intruder or somebody has come into your garden you see there we go right so that's the principle of operation now if it is not aligned you see so it's off the um, axis you can see now it's not good so what I have to do is I have to stand here and actually get it to the to when the level uh, uh, indicator comes on that LED but that's not enough I need to get the green LED on to tell me that the level is correct so I need to get it correct in terms of the direction but also in terms of the inclination so there we go now to adjust the inclination there's a screw there and as you screw it in it goes uh, let's see screwing it in will probably go up and screwing it out no screwing it out will go up screwing it in will go down so might need to go to the sender and also just shift it just a tiny bit okay so there we go so we got good the level is good um, it's a good idea to just like knock it a bit just to make sure you see the the good indicator is gone so that's telling me it's a little bit off so at this point it's probably a good idea to go to the uh, sender and just shift that one a little bit because it shouldn't be this sensitive to alarm you see there the good is coming on again so you need a partner to be on that side and to just play around with it there so I'll just get it back to good once you've done this part you will wire the alarm connectors directly to your zone and your alarm and that's how you do the beam all you'll need to do after that is to actually just close it so you would need to put the one obviously you'll run the wires neatly and that's it so i hope that's informative and i hope it's helpful i'll just show you where this where the sending one is and how far it is and you can see how far that is and if anybody walks anywhere how it'll work is if you cross over there that's when you are going to uh, to have the problem with the alarm triggering. So I hope that uh, has been informative and thanks for watching.